My name is Ralph Regenvanu and I'm the Member of Parliament for Port Vila in Vanuatu and uh, I'm standing in Port Vila. Uh, we are now about one month out from when Cyclone Pam hit us. So Cyclone Pam was a Category 5 cyclone, so that's the strongest you can get. And the direction of the travel of Pam, it went from the north of Vanuatu right down the island chain to the south. So it followed the country from north to south, unlike previous cyclones which hit one particular part of the country. So essentially all of Vanuatu was affected, the entire population. The population is not big, it's only about 260,000 people, but we consider the entire population to have been affected. What happened with Cyclone Pam was that an estimate that we have now of the damage that was caused, perhaps 90% uh, damage to houses uh, and buildings. Uh, I would say of those, half of them lost their roofs. The others were damaged in other ways. Um, massive damage to trees and vegetation. And when you consider that uh, the majority of the people in Vanuatu satisfy most of their livelihood needs, their food, uh, building materials from the bush and their gardens. Most people are subsistence gardeners. Basically the food supply destroyed. Um, most 90% of water supply systems were destroyed as well. And so immediately after Cyclone Pam, it was just a really terrible time. And we are still, many people are still in that time right now because they are still facing that same situation I just described to you. Uh, water uh, not, not running, uh, no running water in your, in your house or near, near your home, source of drinking water, no power, um, no food from, from your gardens, the gardens are gone, uh, no roof over your head. The last three weeks or so has been a time of a lot of effort put into relief supplies. Uh, just making sure people have water, making sure they have food, making sure they have shelter, a tarpaulin over their heads, at least. Uh, the most urgent needs, of course, water and uh, food and shelter. We are still in the process of rolling that relief effort out and we expect that to take up to two to three months. However, some parts of Vanuatu, many, many people are obviously starting to come back. Um, getting our water supply connected. That's one, me and myself in particular, I've been particularly involved with the water supply because I'm the minister responsible for water supply. So we've been doing a lot of work to make sure that water is struck to communities. We, we fix the water pipes, fix the water tanks and so on. We are now in a phase where we are still doing a lot of relief, but at the same time, we're starting to talk about rehabilitation and recovery. Uh, a big national needs assessment is currently underway to determine what exactly are our needs uh, both in terms of public infrastructure and also in terms of private homes, private businesses and so on. And so we are at the stage where we are about to determine what exactly the full range of needs uh, for the country will be in the recovery and rehabilitation phase which is from about two to three months time till 12 months. I must say the support that's been coming in from around the world has been humbling for me as an Ivanuatu. Uh, it's been really heartwarming to see all the help we've been getting from friend countries, countries that have supported us, uh, tra traditional partners like New Zealand, like Australia, uh, also the, the NGO community, the international NGOs, the Red Cross, UNICEF, so on. Uh, Oxfam and particularly the support we're getting from you know communities individual communities and uh, groups of people and I'd like to do a big shout out to uh, the communities of South Canterbury in New Zealand who are at this uh, fundraising event because uh, really your contribution will be invaluable to trying to bring back the people of Vanuatu to a life where you know they feel they have the basic needs satisfied and they can continue to raise their children in a way that uh, will lead to a better future. So a big thank you to all the families in South Canterbury. 
Uh, we have our own family there, of course. Uh, my brother and his family, my nephews and nieces. Um, don't forget all the uh, RSC regional seasonal employment workers that are from Vanuatu who are currently working in South Canterbury area. Um, the help that uh, you're all be able to give to us is, is greatly appreciated. And uh, I just want to say thank you on behalf of the people of my constituency, Port Vila, but also the people of Vanuatu for all the, your generosity in uh, giving to help us. Thank you.